Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are finally taking a look at Series 1 for the brand new Monster Jam Mini line. And this has been a highly requested video. I've been waiting for these to get delivered and thankfully, thank you to Spin Master for supplying these today for review. So this is the whole set here. Uh, there are multiple of each truck except for the rare trucks and I'll show you guys exactly what trucks those are today in this video. So we're going to open them up and I'm going to also show you how to identify them easier in the store by their codes on the packaging. So if we take a look here at the packaging, you can see it has the mini logo. We have the lineup here and on the sides we have the full scale lineup in the uh, individual form so you can see. These are the common truck, actually all of these here, these are common trucks, and then these are the rare trucks, and the specific chase piece of these sets are the gold trucks. However, uh, technically they're all only one truck for the rares, so they're all chase pieces, I guess you would call them, but if you want to identify a specific chase piece, it would be this gold grave digger. So here we go with the first ever look at the minis on my channel. Here is the little door, and we're going to open it up and start pulling these out. So... Uh, we have to start at the first code number, which is... Okay, I had to pause the video there for a second so I can get the codes and their specific quantities so we can continue this review. So the first one, I've actually already opened one. I'm uh, guilty of opening one already. Uh, there are three Megalodons in this set, and Megalodon's code is number 68. So again, as we go one by one, you'll see the codes on screen, and I'll show you where to find the codes right now. So the first one out of this pack here, I guess I'm not going to go in order because it's too much work. Uh, and we'll make the video way too long if I pick out each one and try to find number 64 first. So here's the packaging for a Monster Jam Mini. You can see it says 12 to collect, Series 1. Uh, there's a BKT tire, obviously, as the background with the Spin Master rims. And then it says 1 Monster Jam Mini. Uh, there's all the other stuff, the Spin Master logo. And then the back is just the basic stuff with the trucks. And uh, here's where you identify the code at. So here is the back here with the barcode. This uh, number here, this two digit last part of the number here is the identifier. So 70 will identify as El Toro Loco. And there are three El Toro Locos per box of minis. So there's a big chance you'll find this one if you don't look at the code. The code is also here in the uh, actual identification code for the boxes, but this number here, 70, this last two digit is the code for El Toro Loco. So if we open this up real quick, and I can guarantee you uh, we will find an El Toro Loco inside. And there it is, El Toro Loco. So El Toro Loco number 70. We will review these at the end, by the way, in full detail in a quick little look through. So I'm just gonna open them up first, but here's El Toro Loco number 70. Really cool. And uh, let's see what's next. So uh, number 72 is the rare overcast Megalodon. So it should be this one right here, one per box. So let's check it out if it is. And that should be enough. And will it be Overcast Megalodon? It is Overcast Megalodon. So number 72, the rare Overcast Megalodon. So there's that. That's really cool. Actually, it's really cool with this uh, mini body. So Overcast Megalodon, one of the four rare trucks, and there's only one per box. So let's see what's next. Number 66, this should be Dragon, the normal one. So let's see what's inside. And these dragons are three per box. All right, dragon, three per box, number 66 of the mini series. So that's pretty cool. There he is. And let's see what's next. Uh, number 69 out of this box will be Monster Mutt. There are two per box. So let's open that up. Uh, let's see. And there it is, Monster Mutt for this series. Really cool. Uh, that they did the individual castings, especially for the mini series, even though they could have gotten away with Dalmatians casting uh, like Mattel did. There is Monster Mutt on its own little casting for this mini series, so that's pretty cool. And then next up, right here, number 75, that should be the rare 30th anniversary Purple Grave Digger. So let's see what that is. And there it is. 
Awesome to see this truck getting used so much. There's the 30th anniversary Purple Grave Digger for the mini series. So they brought it back again, uh, even in the mini series. They have it in the 164 scale, the 124 scale, and now in a little tiny form with those awesome silver rims and tires. So there it is, the 30th anniversary Purple Grave Digger. And this one is number uh, 69 again. So this is Monster Mud again. We won't open that one up. Um, I'll save that for a friend or a little cousin or someone that I have around uh, who will enjoy opening themselves. Number 66, Dragon. Again, oh, won't open that one. Uh, number 65, uh, that's Dalmatian. We have not opened that one yet. So here we go. The other dog pound truck or rough crowd truck in this pack. So here it is, the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And as you can see, the castings are different from the two trucks. So that's awesome. So there they are. Monster Mutt Dalmatian number 65, and there's two per case. And let's see what else we got. Oh, Monster Mutt's coming up to say hello. Um, number 73, so this one's the, as they were calling it before with me in meetings, this is the chase piece, but again, they're all one per case. So, uh, the rare gold grave digger should be inside of this one. So let's check out that awesome looking gold grave digger right now. And there it is, the golden grave digger. So it looks a lot like the one from Monster Jam Steel Titans, the, uh, 124 scale exclusive that they gave out to the collector's edition buyers. So there is the Golden Grave Digger in one, uh, actually not 164 scale, in mini scale. Looks so awesome in person. So there it is, bad to the bone. Really cool. My favorite definitely of the uh, the chase pieces of the set. And I think it looked awesome on display. So we'll take a look at that again in a moment. There's number 73, one per case, the Golden Grave Digger. And here is number 66, another dragon. So that's the third dragon of the case, the last one. Uh, number 67, which is Max D. We have not looked at that yet, so let's open it up. Max D. Two per case, number 67. So here is Max D. And they put the roof printing, which the rendering doesn't show. So that's really cool that they did that. So there's Max D uh, right there. Awesome little tiny Max D. Um, you might notice also these look a little squishy. They purposely did this um, to make them cute for the mini scale. They didn't want to go accurate with them. Uh, they decided to do a little different from their normal style. So they might look a little different to you. That's the reason why. So they got like a little bit of a character to them. So there's Max D, number 67. And next up, uh, number 68 is Megalodon, which I've already actually opened one. So here is Megalodon, as I showed earlier, the normal version. And we've also opened up number 72, which was the Overcast. Again, we'll review them in just a second. And I think there's only one more or two more to go. So number 74, this is the last chase piece or rare truck. It's going to be the X-Ray Dragon. So let's open that up. So there it is, the X-Ray Dragon with a clear body and clear tires. Super awesome. Awesome looking truck. So there's that. We'll take a look at it again in a moment. And one more truck we're looking for, 64. Uh, actually, we haven't opened it, 64. Um, sorry about that. Uh, this is the Blue Thunder. So this is the second to last truck we're looking for. So there is the Mini Blue Thunder right there. Number 64, two per case. And now we try to find number 71, the last truck. So number 65, that's Dalmatian. Um, let's see what else. Number 68, that is the Megalodon. Number 71, right here. So this is the last one we're gonna look at. This is the Grave Digger with purple tires. So let's open it up. All right, there is a normal Grave Digger. So we've had three Grave Diggers in this set. Uh, two of them were special edition. One of them is common with purple tires right there, the Grave Digger. So here is number 64. There is two per case. This is the Blue Thunder model by the Spin Master Monster Jam Mini Series. And it looks really cool with all that little detail. Uh, the roof printing is not there in the tailgate uh, because they have to save on some costs. So you'll see some of them without roof printing, but here's the side profile of Blue Thunder. And then number 65, two per case is Monster Mutt Dalmatian. One of two Monster Mutts in this series. And it looks really cool with its own individualized casting with the little squishy looking body, super cute. And here is the roof shot. You can see they did do printing for it on this model. And here is number 66, the Dragon. There are three per case here. 
So there's the side profile shot. And then they did paint the horns on the roof there in orange. And number 67, two per box. It's the Max D. This thing looks so cool. And you can see it also has its roof printing right there. And number 68, three per box, the regular Megalodon with the blue body. It looks so cute with the little shark body. And you can see my turntable shaking, so it's shaking it up. But there's Megalodon, three per case. And that is number 68 on the minis codes. And number 69 with two per case, it's the Monster Mutt, the normal edition of Monster Mutt as compared to Dalmatian. And you can see, again, its own individualized casting for this truck with a tiny little tail in the back. So there's Monster Mutt, and there's the roof shot there. It does have printing on it. And number 70, El Toro Loco, the Crazy Bull. It is three per case, and you can find this beast in packages marked number 70. So there is El Toro Loco. It does not have any roof printing, but it does have its little horns painted in on the roof. So there is El Toro Loco. And number 71, the classic black and green wrecking machine with purple tires, three per case. It's the Grave Digger. So this is one of three Gravedigger models you will see in this assortment, but this one is the standard model, but with purple tires. So there is Gravedigger, and there's that tiny roof shot with the flames on both the roof and the hood. And the first rare truck of four, it is the Overcast Megalodon, a truck we saw in the 164 skill series back in 2019. It is now making its debut in the mini series. And the golden black wrecking machine this time around, it's the Chase Piece Gold Grave Digger, also featured in Monster Jam Seal Titans and now making a debut in the Monster Jam mini series. Number 73, one per case, hard to find. So go check out your codes. Try to find number 73 if you want this black and gold wrecking machine here. And with a little bit of x-ray vision, number 74, the Dragon X-ray is on the turntable. Technically, this would be called Dragon Sheer Insanity because the Sheer Insanity series for 2021 is a brand new x-ray series for 164 scale. So Dragon is kind of showing off that new technology that we will be seeing in 164 scale later this year. There's that clear body that you can see through. So there is Dragon number 74, one per case, part of the rare series. And to end it off, a fan favorite for years now, the 30th anniversary Purple Grave Digger making a debut in the mini series as number 75 and the final new edition of series one. So if you wanna find this one per case truck, it is number 75 on the codes featuring those silver tires, green chassis, and the purple body. And then you can see it also does have that awesome roof panel with the championships and the flames on the hood. So there is the mini series for series one of Monster Jam Minis. So there is Spin Master's brand new mini series. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you to Spin Master for supplying them. And I will see you guys next time. And I can't wait to see what series two has in store. Until next time, let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Ryan or Monster Jam OCD, signing out.